Hello everyone, today we are going to discuss an example to create the SQL Server Database uh, used in a Visual Studio uh, C Sharp means with the Windows Form application and insert some records in that database. So first we need to create a database in a SQL Server. I am going to create it with the name student. I am going to create a table in that. student ID is a first fill with a numeric type student name sorry it's a worker and mobile it's a numeric so control s to save the table and give the name to the table right now I'm going to give a student details okay so it is created you can see that the student details so now coming to the visual studio and first we need to extract this database so move to tools connect to database here you need a name of your server so move to SQL server click on connect this will be your server name so just copy it and paste here so you will get all the database which is there in your SQL server so student test connection and ok so you will found your student database in a server explorer now so it's ready now uh, we will do the some designing to insert the records so from the toolbox I'm going to take a a group box control so it looks nice you can set the property of a group box text like a student registration yes student registration and now take some controls which is needed while inserting its label and text box and one button okay now you can copy and copy paste this control And now set the properties for the label there's a first label is for student ID second label is for student name and third one is for mobile and this button is to insert the record so I'm going to give a name add okay now double click here to open its click event so first thing that you need to do is uh, you have to add the library it's using system dot data dot SQL client to work with the database means whenever a database is required in your application then you have to add this library I'm going to give the connection that we have done in a previous video also it's SQL connection create its object and new SQL connection now put the path of the database and that you will found in a 
connection string property so copy this path and paste here now open the connection now take one variable it's a string q i'm going to write the insert query and stored in a q variable insert into student details table here are the names of the field you will write it's a student id student underscore name and the mobile and here you need to give the text box name which you are using for insert the records so first text box name is text box 1 and we have a student id fill which is a numeric data type that's why plus double and plus double so text box dot text second is a student name it has a worker type that's why single double plus plus double single and the text box name is text box 2 dot text and third one again it's a numeric type that's why double plus plus double text box 3 dot text okay so your query is done and it will store in a queue variable so now for the execution of query we need to write the sql command make its object and provide the query with connection sql command will execute the query with its method called execute non query so it's done here and now for confirmation we will give one message box message box dot show record inserted and close the connection so save it and run your application okay I'm uh, going to add some records click on add button so record inserted now move to SQL server right click on your table and select edit rows so you will found your record here okay thank you so much if you liked it please subscribe